Hello everyone, welcome to a BEA technical training video. I'm Jacob with the Tech Service Department. Today, we're going to be going over one of our very common wide scan calls is an E5 flatness error. What is E5 flatness? The wide scan, when you're doing a teach-in, when let's say you're trying to align it, there are two visible spots that come on the ground. Between those spots and out, just a little bit, it's looking for a flat ground. Whenever it's not flat, say I'm standing here, say there's a water drain or graded flooring, or say the cover is down, for example, like what you see on the sensor, it will, it'll, the lasers will be shooting flat in other spots, but then there's discrepancies in between them. That's going to cause an E5 flatness error. Very simple fix, though. In our case, with the cover down, We are going to put the cover back on, and we're going to do a heat in On the remote, unlock, magic wand, number zero. For 10 seconds, it's going to do a heat in It's going to flash red, green, red, green, and then when it's done, it's going to stop. E5 flatness error is fixed. So you can see something as simple as the cover being down is enough to do an E5 flatness error. So when I'm doing the teaching, what happens if I leave my ladder in the field? Unlock, magic wand, zero. I'm going to give it 10 seconds to do its learn. One, two, three, four, five. Five orange flashes, and if you look on the screen, it's going to say E5 flatness. Simply move the ladder. Again, it goes to clearing the field and do a teach-in. Unlock, magic one zero, move out of the field, and that's enough. Now, in the situation where you have grates in the flooring, maybe there are some cracks in the ground, if you put something as simple as like cardboard and cover up the cracks in between those two dots that we mentioned and out just a little bit, do your teaching with the cardboard, sheetrock, sheet metal on the ground, and it will learn fine. Then just remove it after. But that is a very common fix to our E5 flatness error. It's just looking for flat ground. And if you can trick it during the teaching into thinking that it's flat, and then take away whatever you were tricking it with, like that cardboard, it'll work. If you've done all these steps and unlock Magic Wand Zero, the t regular teaching is not working. There are two alternative ways to do a teaching on your remote. One of them is to do an unlock. There's the magic wand symbol at the top. F1. That does a teach-in on the left side of the field. Unlock. Magic wand. F2. Does a teach-in on the right side of the field. So if you're trying to fix an E5 flatness error and magic wand zero doesn't work, do unlock magic wand F1 or unlock magic wand F2 and see if they make a difference. Thanks everyone for watching this technical training. This was how to fix E5 error on a LZR wide scan. If you do all these troubleshooting tips and it still does not work, feel free to call us at BEA Tech Services and we will help you out. But otherwise, hope this video is informational for you. I hope you learned a lot. And my name is Jake with BEA Tech Service and I hope to see you again here soon.